How's it going, everybody? Matt Moranti here with Renaissance Fire and Construction. I'm here today with Tony from UTM. We're going to go over some great new um, training ammunition and conversions here. Tony, why don't you tell us some about it? Sure. Uh, well, UTM Ultimate Training Munitions has been around for a long time, but we've only been available for military and law enforcement previously. So what we've done now is we've taken that same technology and we made it available to the civilian populace so that they can actually shoot and practice uh, things that they could never before do. You know, it's a safe alternative. And it's a non-lethal alternative. Right? So one of the things, let's talk about the AR platform to start off with, right? The cool thing about this is, is that all you have to do is change out your bolt carrier group. So you take your bolt out, and you put the UTM bolt in, which basically has a blue indicator on the side, so you can always tell which one is which. And if you notice, it changes it from a center fire to a rim fire. It's a three millimeter offset. So once you put this blue bolt back into the gun, that's it. The only thing it's going to be able to fire is UTM. You'll see the blue indicator on the side. Dust cover doesn't close, so you can always see the blue. So now once that's changed over, now you're shooting your gun with your optics and everything else. But the rounds only go 375 feet per second. And it's only 112 decibels, so that means that you don't need hearing protection. So if, if you were training somebody, you could actually have, you could stand next to them and shoot. No problem, no hearing protection required. The other thing is, is if you wanted to shoot in your basement, if you wanted to shoot in your garage, pull the door, hang up a target, you could actually pull the trigger. Your neighbors wouldn't even know you were pulling the trigger. And you're practicing with your gun without going to a live fire. Some money on some ammo here too, it seems like. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and your trip to the range, right? Definitely. Availability. So this is this is the platform. Let me show you really quickly here. There's several different types of ammunition. Right now, what is available is our target marking rounds. These rounds here, these are our 556 five, rounds. And what it has is wax in the tip of the round. So if you hit, like say a tarp or something, wax is gonna come out and mark the tarp. When you're done shooting, just wipe it off, it's clean. You don't have to buy paper targets, you don't have to do anything. That's one way of going. After SHOT Show, we're going to have some blanks available. The blanks are actually silent blanks from the battlefield. The silents are really quiet. All it does is cycle a gun, nothing comes out. It's really good for snap-ins, practice drills, things like that, training new shooters. Very safe. And then the loud blanks actually give you that loud bang that most people are afraid of. But it's not as live, same as live round. So what you would do is actually introduce people to the noise so they can get used to that and a little bit of the recoil before you take it to the live now, I just want to make sure, because back when I was uh, always using bikes and stuff like that, we always had to put a BFA on it. Uh, that doesn't have to happen, right? That's correct. And the reason why it doesn't have to do that is because it's actually a blowback system. There's two primers in here. primer in the back gets struck. The round actually expands and blows the bolt to the rear. Then this ball goes forward, hits the forward primer, that makes the noise, or sends a projectile. So it's strictly in the casing of the round itself. It has nothing to do with the gun. That's great. Seems like it would be a lot cleaner as well. It is cleaner and there's not as much carbon buildup. You're not going to have a dirty gun. It actually, when you shoot the marking rounds even, uh, it doesn't wear and tear on your, on your rifle or your pistol. You'll actually get 10 times the life expectancy on your on your guns than you would normally get if you shot live fire. So that's the pistols, I mean uh, the rifles. The pistols are exactly the same. If you say, for example, on a Glock, all you do is change out the barrel and slide. And then the rounds we have available are in the pistol calibers, load into regular magazines. And once again, 335 feet per second, completely safe. Once it's converted, your firearm will only shoot the UTM rounds. And it takes 30 seconds to change it out. And then you're shooting at your house. <laughs> That's great. And now to do that at your house, um, you guys have a home range kit. That's correct. If, um, Look, we have two different kits, though. The full range kit is this. You get 50 rounds of ammunition, you get a cleaning kit, you get the conversion. In addition to the conversion, you get a target holder that you can actually hang up. The target box sits in the target holder, aluminum backing, targets that slide down in, and basically you hang that up in your garage, and now you're shooting. So it gives you 50 rounds of ammo, the conversion kit, the cleaning kit, and the, the target holder that you can hang up. So you basically start shooting right away. You're ready to go. You're ready to go. Don't have to go to the range. You just pop it up in your garage and you shoot. It's a great way to go. So, uh, thank you for your time with that. But uh, mind if we get in and do no, some rounds? Pull, pull the trigger on a couple of things. Let's do it. Awesome.
Right, so we're going to start off with the uh, quiet blanks. That's right. And then we'll progress from there. Okay, so everything we know that there's a blue bolt in here, we're good to go. So we got that checked. Charge it up. Now, with this round, I want you to go ahead and pull the trigger up twice on that one. Go ahead and aim in, regular. You're going to see the ejection of the cartridge. Go ahead. One, two, you got the ejection. You got a little bit of recoil, right? Watch. I'm going to put this paper over the front of the muzzle. Pull the trigger. Nothing coming out. We're completely safe. Right? There's nothing there. So go ahead and keep firing. Fire it out. Now you felt the lock lock. You feel the difference in it? Yes. So so that's the training part, right? They'll they'll get a feel. Wow, I just felt that lock back. So now you can, you can simulate the whole thing. So now the next step of it is no matter how good you are with learning the manipulation, at some point or another you have, you have to hear some noise. You gotta start building up because people are afraid of it, right? Yes. So there's your little bit of noise maker. It's not crazy. I still don't need hearing protection, but it's going to give you a little pop now. All right, try out. Once again, gave you that little bit of bang, right? Not crazy, but it gives you a little bit of that. So now people start getting used to the noise. They're not afraid of the gun, right? And you still got your lock back. You still got everything else exactly the same. Yeah. You know, it's just like an action shooter. Does it? Good. Good. Let me get a couple of projectiles. All right, so now those, these are our target walking rounds. So now you're actually going to be punching paper. So you'll be able to see where you're hitting. You'll be able to tell what, you know, you're getting some feedback, but you're still shooting the same direction. All right, all right. When you're in. Excellent. And here's the last thing I'll say on the, on the, from the training value of it. If you were going to a live fire range and you were trying to teach somebody, there's no way that they would let me stand this close to you. No. Watch your trigger. Watch how you're manipulating the gun. Watch Especially on that side closest to my muzzle. It's not no gonna way. Happen. It's not going to happen. And then the other thing is, is that I wouldn't be able to hear because there'd be other people shooting. There'd be so much noise. You'd be wearing hair protection. How am I supposed to teach when I have that all that going on? When you're ready. Getting that, that recoil, your sights are jumping just slightly, right? And you have to come back on target. You still get to work your trigger, your grip, your stance, everything the same. I could even say from the competition aspect, setting up and being able to do multiple targets possibly in a room and being able to sweep around with this, you definitely up your uh, chances there. Yep. So this drill is actually a seated drill for concealed carry, holders, or whatever. Let's say you run a restaurant, uh, movie theater, whatever it is. There's a couple of quick things. If you had to get out of your seat right now, there's a couple of factors. How would you have to get out of your seat? You would move your feet. Yeah. And then go from there, right? So you would have to do that. But now, how do you get to your holster? Let's say that you were uh, this type of holster on your side, right? So now you're going to actually bring your feet in, lean back, grab the holster, and then rock forward out of the chair. If your feet were forward, then you're all in that motion. You would bring them back in, and you would go for it. Now, what if you were wearing a belly holster and you had it here? Now you would have to lean back, grab your gun out of your holster, then bring your feet in and get out of your chair. So if you've never tried this before, you know, you, you wouldn't know that, right? So this is something that you can do. But could you do this on a live fire range? They throw you off the range. Yeah, you wouldn't make it very far. Yeah, no way. So here you go. There's a magazine. I'm going to have you load up. So here's the drill. While you're loading up, uh, when I say go, or I'm going to call a number out, there's numbers on each one of these targets on the wall here. What I want you to do is you're going to come out of the chair, put two rounds in one of those targets, stand up, cover the targets, I'll say reset, you sit back down again. We'll do it four times. All right. Got it? Got it. All right. Ready? 34. Good. Cover, 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 and reset. Back in the chair. Ready? 16. Cover, cover. Good. Reset. 24, 34. And good. That is a lot of fun. That is training. That is good training. You always want to train like you fight. That's exactly right. And now you can picture that being the way you fight, right? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Sir, thank you again. This is a great time. Awesome. Thank you.